Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today we're decorating my front porch for Halloween. This is a long awaited video and one of my absolute favorites to film because y'all know how much I love Halloween. I'm so excited to share all of these DIYs with you guys today and all of the fun and spooky decor. So go get your pumpkin spice and settle in girl because we are decorating the front porch and we've got a lot to do. So the first step is to take down all the fall decor. I've already repurposed some of the fall decor from out here for my indoor fall decor. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It just went live on my channel last week and you don't wanna miss it. Since we're transitioning to all Halloween out here, I wanted a blank slate to work with. It is totally acceptable to leave your fall decor up and just add in some pumpkins or whatever for Halloween, but my heart, it really lies in Halloween, okay? I love spooky decor and I've collected so much of it now that I decided to do a full Halloween setup on the porch this year. I didn't feel like breaking out the pressure washer though, so bear with me because I'm just gonna hose it off a little bit and make it a little bit cleaner before we get started. For the porch this year, I'm gonna attempt to make a pumpkin arch. That sounds exciting, but it was a lot of work. So you've probably seen them all over the internet done by other people. Naturally, I saw that and I was like, I have to try. So if you've ever thought about making one, you need to keep watching this video because I have a lot of tips and things that I learned throughout the process to share with you guys. My first step was to get a few more pumpkins, of course, to add to my collection. As if I didn't already have enough pumpkins. You should have seen my husband's face when I told him we needed more. So I did get these blue bucket pumpkins from Walmart because that was all they had out so far. Tim cut out the faces and helped me out and I spray painted them orange and black and then we got started with the arch. Next, I set up this arch I already had from Amazon. Typically, I use this for party decor, but I thought it might work well for a pumpkin arch. Here's my first tip for y'all. I should have gone with my original plan of buying PVC pipe because it would have been more sturdy and probably easier to work with. This worked, it really did, but I feel like it could have been easier if I would have used PVC pipe. So we drilled holes into the pumpkins and started to feed them on to the pole. First, I just drilled holes through the bottom and then I eventually started drilling the holes based on where the pumpkin was gonna be on the arch so that way they were all facing the same way and none were like upside down or sideways or whatever. It took a lot of teamwork for this part of the drilling and feeding them on and all of that so definitely recommend having some help if you're going to take on a project like this. Just to introduce myself, if you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 31 years old and my middle name is Really Rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and motherhood, and I like to keep it real and show y'all how to be extra without all the effort. I live in North Carolina. I have two daughters who are five and 10. I'm currently pregnant with my third child and I'm married to my husband, Tim, who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. But y'all actually get to see him today though, so that's exciting. <laughs> I want to be your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you life hacks to be the mom you want to be, and I promise I'm never going to judge you, okay? Life is crazy, so let's be friends. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos every week here on YouTube, and I also post a ton on TikTok and Instagram. I've got so much fun holiday content coming up, y'all, so I really hope that you will join me.
So if you're new to my channel or wondering what video is next, now's my chance to convince you to stay and subscribe. I like to think of every one of you guys as my friends, and it means so much to me when y'all become a part of my little community. If you like Halloween and other holiday decor, you are in the right spot. I've got tons of fun content coming up soon to share. If you didn't catch it at the beginning, I'm sure you can tell I'm pregnant, so I'll be sharing some pregnancy content too in addition to all of my holiday stuff and all of my home decor DIY projects. My next video will be more Halloween decor. I'll be decorating inside my house, sharing some fun DIYs and giving you guys lots of spooky vibes. And I'm also going to be decorating outside again too, sharing a huge front yard setup for Halloween. So be sure to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Once we got all the pumpkins on, we secured the arch so it wouldn't blow over with some fishing line. Again, it would probably be much more secure if I used PVC pipe and I might not have to do this, but here we are. After getting the pumpkins all onto the arch, I added some leaves and some floral to fill in between each pumpkin to make it look more seamless and like it was supposed to be there, okay? This is definitely a trust the process sort of project. I also added some lights that were battery powered into the pumpkins so they would glow a little bit through their faces. At the bottom of the arch, there are some bricks to just make sure that it stays up. I want it to be really sturdy. So I also put some pumpkins and stuff in front of the arch. So I would cover up those bricks. So I added pumpkins and planters and other decor and stuff that I had around to the bottom. This is a challenging DIY for me to do because it required me asking for help, which I don't like to do. Y'all, usually I'm a strong independent woman and I can just knock out the DIYs on my own. But this one wasn't going exactly as planned and I had to do a lot of modifications. So I did have to ask for help. So by the time I finished, I was feeling a little bit frustrated by this one. I only tell you guys that to be completely honest because I know a lot of times on YouTube, it's looks like projects are super simple and super easy and that's easy to do as a creator because we don't always put in all the bad stuff right but to be honest they're not always easy i wanted to throw in the towel on this one for sure so i have to give a huge shout out to my husband for helping me and making sure that my idea came to life he was really the brains behind this operation i do like how everything turned out but i just wanted to let you guys know a little behind the scenes because it's definitely not always as simple as it seems on video I will try to link anything I got new for you guys in the description. I can link things like my skeleton, the doormats, and this really cute little ghost that you can see on the left side of the door here. I absolutely love him. I got him from the at-home store. Never been to that store until recently, and I have to go back because their stuff was so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna link everything I can down below for you. If I miss something, don't hesitate to ask.
So then once I got all the decor put up, I decided to kind of clean up a little bit because I have black mulch and you can see literally anything that lands on it. So I pulled out some weeds and I tried to move some leaves out of it the best I could, but just another pro tip for you guys. I don't think I'll go with black mulch again because it's just really hard to keep up with considering I have so many trees in my yard, especially during the fall. I do love the way it looks, but I do not love the maintenance. So next year I think I'm gonna go with pine straw, but that's what I'm doing here. I'm just cleaning up a little bit, blowing off everything and cleaning out the flower beds a little bit to the best of my ability. So here is the finished product of my front porch, the pumpkin arch and all of my decor. You guys have to let me know what you think. I cannot wait to share the rest of my Halloween decor with y'all. There's so much more where this came from, both inside and outside. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the spooky vibes that are coming your way. Now that we have seen the porch in the day, we definitely need to see it at night. So hold on just a second because things are about to get spooky. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if no one's told you today, you're doing a great job and I'll see y'all next time.